हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज चिन्मय देशपांडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ टॉपिक फ्रॉम इंटरपोलेशन द नेम ऑफ अ टॉपिक इज कंसेप्ट ऑफ डिवाइडेड डिफरेंस ऑपरेटर सो लेट अस कंसीडर दैट एक्स जीरो कॉमा वाई जीरो देन एक्स वन कॉमा वाई वन अप टू एक्स एन कॉमा वाई एन बी गिवन डेटा पॉइंट नाउ हियर द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स मे और मे नॉट बी इक्वली स्पेस therefore we will write first order i will write it as here first order divided difference so how we can write a first order divided difference the formula for this will be f of x0 comma x1 which will be equal to y1 minus y0 that is second value of y minus first value of y Divided by x1 minus x0. This is denoted by this symbol. That is here you can say it is delta y0. So always remember this divided difference operator is denoted by this kind of a symbol. Similarly, we can write a formula for f of x1 comma x2, which will be equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, which is denoted by del. y1 so this is first order divided difference now let me write here second order divided difference so how we can write this second order divided difference for that case we can write it as f of x0 comma x1 comma x2 which will be equal to here directly we can write del y1 Minus del y zero divided by x two minus x zero, which will be equal to del square of y zero. Now we can write next as f of x one comma x two comma x three, which will be equal to del y two minus del y one divided by x3 minus x1 which will be denoted as del square of y1 similarly now here we discuss about second order divided difference now how we can write about third order divided difference so how we can write a formula for third order divided difference so it will be what it will be your f of x1 x2 x3 so let me write it as f of x1 comma x2 comma x3 here which will be equal to del square y2 minus del square y0 whole divided by x3 minus x0 which is equal to del cube of y0 instead of starting it from x0 it should start uh, it, it should instead of starting it from x1 it should start from x0 that is f of x0 comma x1 comma x2 comma x3 so now in a tabular format we will be able to write it as so if the question is prepare divided difference table so how we can prepare it let me take this as x and y values so if we have values x0 corresponding value is y0 then x1 y1 after that x2 y2 then x3 y3 suppose if we have uh, this kind of data so how we can write we have so we have to write a table like this first will be your x then next column will be of y so we will be able to write it like this x0 corresponding value is y0 x1 this will be y1 x2 this will be y2 and x3 this will be y3 so the first element is always denoted by del of y so how we can write it as del of y0 will be equal to what y1 minus y0 divided by x1 minus x0 similarly we can write del of y1 which will be equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 and del of y2 
will be equal to y3 minus y2 divided by x3 minus x2. So likewise, we have to find it out value of del y0, del y1, del y2. Next is we have to find it out del square of y. So how to find it out del square of y? It will be equal to what? This minus this, that is del y1 minus del y0. Now upon while writing divided by, how to write it? You have to skip this element x1 and it will be what? x2 minus x0. So let me write it as x2 minus x0. This will be delta square y0. Then here you will get delta square y1 which will be equal to delta y1 minus delta y2. So de sorry delta y2 minus delta y1 second minus first value divided by x3 minus x1. So you have to uh, you have to skip this x2 element. Similarly if you want to write it down a formula for del cube of y then here we will be able to write it as del cube of y0 it will be equal to so del cube of y0 will be equal to this second minus first value that is del square of y1 minus del square of y0 whole divided by now here we have to skip these two elements so you will get it here directly x3 minus x0 so the question might be asked first prepare a table and based on that suppose if we want to find it out any particular value for a x we have to find it out value of a y and if the question is solved with the help of divided difference table or divided difference formula so in that case it is required to know the basic idea about how to prepare a divided difference table so this is what is a video related to concept of divided difference operator thank you for watching this video if you have any doubt, please feel free to ask any questions. Thank you once again.